Hello guys, it's Jax here. Welcome back to the video. Today we're going to be doing another script tutorial and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to create some custom recipes. So I'm just going to show you one real quick. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a recipe where you can create a custom item. So right here you can see we got a diamond bow. I mean that's not in the game but with this script tutorial you guys will be able to make an item just like this. Before we start with the actual scripting stuff I'm just going to tell you a couple things that you need to know about recipes. The first thing is that there's two different types of recipes, shapeless and shaped. So basically shapeless is you can put it however you want so I can move it around, you know, move the items around and it gives you the item. And then shaped recipes require you to have the recipe in the correct shape. So like let's say we have it like this. It's not going to work because you need it to have it in the right shape. Oh, and for this tutorial, you're going to need SK Query, the script add-on. So if you don't have that, I highly recommend installing it. So before we actually do any recipes, we're going to create a quick command that will allow you to get rid of recipes because the recipes don't work like, you know, a normal script event where you can just delete it right away. Uh, you actually need to manually delete it with like a command or, you know, an action or something. So I just prefer like a, a quick command that you can do whenever you accidentally create a recipe that you want to get rid of. And so th this command will get rid of all recipes, but if in your script you will still have the, the recipes, if that makes any sense, you, you'll see it in a second. So basically here, this command slash reset recipes permission op, just so, you know, only operators can use it. And then trigger, it wipes server crafting recipes, and then it just messages the player who uses it that they, you know, got rid of the recipes. Also, if you don't understand something about this command, then you can check out my other script tutorials. I have a script tutorial on custom commands that you can watch. And I also have a basic script tutorial. If you haven't watched that, you should probably do that too. Oh, and I am using Sublime Text for this tutorial. So we're going to hit enter a couple times and then we're going to add an event on load. And that just does it every time the server opens and every time you reload the script, it will just activate this. And here's where we're going to be adding our commands. So we're going to do register new and we're going to do a shapeless first because shapeless are a little easier. Shapeless recipe for and um, I'm just going to create a dirt block and we're going to be using diamond. So let's just do diamond, 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 diamond. Basically you have to type out nine different items and you have to put a comma in between each one like this. So we have the four diamonds. And so you can't just leave it like this. You actually have to add air. So since we already had four diamonds, a crafting table has nine slots. So we're going to have to add air five more times. Oh, I actually pushed the space there. Okay, so yeah, so you have five airs and four diamonds. And so air is just what you put when you want an empty slot. So if we go into the game, we should be able to craft this right now. So when you're back in the game, you're going to want to reload the script. So script reload and mine's just called crafting. And so if we go in here and we use some diamonds, we can just put four diamonds and you can create a dirt. You can move them all around because it's a shapeless recipe. And that that's, I mean, yeah, we, we can create some dirt with some diamonds now. So now let's go back to our script so we can create a shaped recipe this time. Okay, so creating a shaped recipe, I mean, it's not much harder, but I guess it's slightly harder. Uh, you're just going to put shaped instead of shapeless and then recipe. And then we're going to create that diamond bow that I showed you in the intro. Recipe for bow and then of power one. So this is how you do enchants. You want to put of and then the enchants. You can put multiple enchants. So power one, breaking one, and that would be power one and unbreaking one. Okay, but we don't want that. We're just going to do power one. And so next we're going to do named. And this is how you name an item in here. And then you can put color code. So and B is the little light blue. So we can do diamond bow. And so recipe for bow of power one named diamond bow. So the item even has a name, which is something really cool that you can do. Obviously you can't do that in vanilla Minecraft. And then using, and then for this one, uh, what you want to remember is that you have the crafting grid. The top left is one, then the top middle would be two, three, and then it goes back to the left side for four. So that means five is the middle slot, nine is the bottom right and one is the top left. I'll put a little diagram real quick. Okay, so we're gonna do air, stick, string. Uh, I need to, I'm trying to think of it real quick. Stick, air, diamond, air, stick, string. 
And then if we go in the game, we can craft that. I'm not going to do that right now because I already showed you it in the tutorial. And I'm, I just copy in the code for this one real quick. So in this tutorial, I'm going to make a third item. And so I'm just going to hit enter again. And we're going to, or actually I need to go back up. I'm just going to do it under here. So we're going to register a new shapeless recipe. We're going to do a shapeless recipe for a potato. Potato. Can I spell it right? There we go. Potato named. And then uh, I'm going to name it hot potato. And so this is going to be an item that actually does something, you know, something special. The diamond bow literally just has power one, but this one, we're going to make it do something special. And you don't actually make it do something special in the, um, like the, this part itself. So we're going to have to do that in a little bit, but basically we're going to craft it using a potato and a flint and steel. And then I got to add air seven times because nine minus two is seven simple math. Yeah here because you always need to have the nine items okay so well now we got the potato crafting recipe set up uh, now I'm just gonna go down a little bit and I'm just gonna do it so when you craft the hot potato it sets you on fire I mean it's not that complicated uh, players inventory contains potato named hot potato and then ignite player for 10 seconds so basically, on craft, you craft that hot potato, it sets you on fire for 10 seconds. So you can reload your script again, I already did it. Uh, but basically, we're going to go on our crafting table, we're going to place our potato, we're going to place our flint and steel, so it's a shapeless recipe, we can put them wherever we want, doesn't really matter. And we got our hot potato right here. If I click it, and then place it in my inventory and leave this crafting table, it should set me on fire. Oh wait. Oh, I, I see, <laughs> I see, I see the problem. Okay, so, my, my script has it so it checks if you have the item in your inventory right after you craft it so if you're holding it still it wouldn't work but if I uh, let me just put one in there <laughs> uh, if I oh my god okay if I shift click it in yeah it, it sets me on fire okay so yeah when you, if you shift click it it sets you on fire uh, but basically with that you can make an item that has the special name you know do something special like for an instance you can actually craft the key cards that I made in my last tutorial but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'm going to be making a lot of script tutorials, so you guys should stay tuned for that. Turn on notifications if you want. And if you have any questions, you can comment them below or join my Discord. I'm more likely to answer your questions if you ask them on Twitter or my Discord. Uh, because, you know, I, the comment section is kind of hard to answer questions. You know, it's easier to go back and forth on, like, Discord or something. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.